friends, welcome to another show in the blink of an eye with yours truly, Benjamin Valdez, El Capitan. And today I'm here with Rudy Perez, our manager here in San Juan, Texas. Rudy, how you doing? Very well. All how, right. How's it going? Well, folks, uh, again, welcome to our another show, another episode of blink, In the Blink of an Eye. On behalf of Pueblo Tires and for the Pueblo, you know, In the Blink of an Eye, Pueblo Tires is ready to help you. I'm here with Rudy, uh, manager here in San Juan, Texas, our store. Rudy, uh, we have a situation here. Um, we have uh, some construction going on oh, yes. in our area. As folks, as you drive up and down uh, the uh, expressway here in between San Juan, uh, going towards McAllen, as you all know, there's a lot of construction going on with the overpass. Yes, that's uh, correct. Rudy, right now, folks that are driving, and we apologize because it's out of our hands. Correct. If you're coming from Alamo towards McAllen, normally you could exit right here uh, um, on the San Juan exit right so and you could get on the feeder road come into our store take care of business we'll take care of you but now uh, right now it's closed it's closed yes sir have you heard anything about I mean we don't we're not sure but I don't know how long it's gonna be closed no I haven't heard any of that I mean okay. but they just started so it might right. be a while so we apologize for that inconvenience but let me ask you something Rudy has it have you noticed has it affected your business since all that started? Not really. As a matter of fact, I mean, I thought it was, but uh -huh. it actually isn't. It's still pretty busy. Well, um, there's a second exit, which is Cesar Chavez. I mean, right. that, that's still pretty accessible to us. Well, I think that goes to show, Rudy, that you have some loyal customers. Yes, sir. And we want to thank you uh, because, you know, we, we try to make customers for life. That's our objective is to help you keep your car in the best shape, you know, we, you know uh, possible. And a lot of you folks have uh, realized when you come over here that you can't exit like you used to coming from Alamo this way but like you said you, you had to exit further back one one exit before one exit before so if you're coming down this way you go past Cesar Chavez just stay in the feeder and uh, even further uh, west some of these other exits are closed yes correct so who knows how long that's gonna be but anyway that overpass is being worked on um, it might get messier before it's all said and done but uh, as far as Pueblo Tars and uh, uh, service goes folks we're here to help you to keep your car in good running condition uh, here in San Juan and you know Rudy we got 13 locations sure. we've been around since 1972 we're on our 49th year thank God and uh, soon we'll, we'll be celebrating 50 years of uh, serving the community Rudy uh, as a manager how long have you been here at the store this location opened in March uh, 2019 I believe so it's been three years three years and uh, did you start here as a manager yes sir so you you, you, you've been the first manager here. Oh, no, sorry about that. Uh, a few <laughs> months later after that, about, I'm going to say three months down the line, then I became the manager. Okay, well, Rudy, it seems like you're doing a great job. And uh, Thank you. You got a great staff here. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed, but folks, when you come to our stores, our furniture is still not where it used to be because we're still in a pandemic. We're still wearing the masks. When you come over to Pueblo Tires, we're still practicing all the CDC guidelines to keep you safe and our staff safe so again we do have chairs they're gonna be spread out you can sit there uh, but we just got to weather the storm and uh, we pray that you and your family are doing well that nobody you know I mean there's been a loss of life we've, we realize that uh, but we've been blessed at Pueblo that uh, some of our employees got a little bit sick here and there but nothing critical and uh, for the most part we've been open since day one because we're considered an uh, essential, essential business so we thank God for that the freeze uh, you know when that first that freeze came I know business stopped there for a couple of days yes but for the most part we've been blessed to have folks like you come and visit us correct because we're having a, a, a tremendous year Rudy yes we are uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing here our, our folks uh, I know we, we could talk about uh, one of the aspects one of the newer services that we've been focusing on lately is leveling kits correct and uh, in a few minutes we're gonna have another gentleman join us yes. uh, Domingo Hernandez he's one of our sales um, you know personnel and he goes to the stores and visits and he helps our sales manager
manager helped develop the business. And we're going to be talking to him as well, Rudy. But in the meantime, uh, you're it, man. So yes, uh, tell us, uh, just tell the folks what kind of services you offer here in San Juan. I know you have a fantastic oil bay lane there. Why don't you tell them about that, for Correct. example? This is the only location that we have a quick lane. Uh, it's here in San Juan, Texas, right off of the expressway. Uh, we offer a fast service of oil change. Should be uh, taken care of in about 15 to 20 minutes. We do check all the vehicle, check your pressures. Uh, anything that comes with oil and that we can recommend at that moment, we'll go ahead and do it. Uh, but we are here to service that uh, oil pretty quick. Now, uh, you know, Rudy, I just recently, I'm driving a diesel truck now, and I've never driven a dis diesel truck. Uh, but uh, I know that on this diesel truck, when you change the oil, you also have to add another chemical called DEF. Correct. Now, could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the DEF is one that helps uh, keep the environment clean by uh, helping burn the diesel. Uh, that one, I mean, not all the time it has to be added because it depends. You could add it at any time that it's needed. But of course, with the oil change, most of the time, uh, it's best to be checked at that moment. Right. I understand that if, if that DEF, because there's a gauge there correct just like the fuel gauge and if it goes down to, to empty the truck will not work correct it needs to burn with the with the diesel with the diesel correct yes so folks here in san juan they can do your old changes you do brakes obviously suspension work alignment correct. yes sir uh all kinds of tires uh, i know you guys have some tire specials going on right oh yes we have the <laughs> 205 55 16 for 299 install with taxes and we have the 275 55 20 uh, for 4.99 already installed with Texas. There you go. So uh, there's still time for Mother's Day, all all month of May. Correct. And also Memorial Day. Uh, we I think those specials also apply to Cinco de Mayo, even though it's already coming gone. But hey, we can celebrate all month long, right? Yeah. <laughs> so hey, Rudy, uh, anything you want to say in particular to the folks out there here in San Juan and and uh, what you're doing here and, and let them know uh, of what you want them to know that's coming from the bowels of your soul, Rudy. Okay. I mean. <laughs> First of all, we really do want to appreciate uh, for choosing us, for giving us the opportunity of servicing your vehicle. Uh, we do really appreciate uh, trusting uh, Pueblo Tires, and that's what we're here for, to come in and make sure your vehicle is safe to be driven on. Uh, we are the person, the family center that you can trust for any of your vehicle needs, and uh, I mean, we will try to do everything we can in our possession to give them a great experience. All right, Rudy Pat. You can find him here in San Juan. Yes, sir. Rudy, uh, what's the phone number here? It's 956-601-1961. Uh, Rudy Pettis and his staff will take care of you. And uh, also, you can look this up on shampoozy.com. Rudy, thank you. Yes, sir. For, for what you're doing, and, and thank you, staff. We and appreciate folks, it. We thank you for giving us the opportunity. We're going to let Rudy go now because he's a busy man. <laughs> but thank you for joining us, Rudy, and helping him up the show. Yes, sir. Thank we'll be you back much. in the blink of an eye. At Pueblo Tires and Service, your safety will always be our top priority. So we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. Let's keep our community moving with our wide variety of automotive services and our giant selection of new tires and wheels. Like a set of four 20-inch tires for only $499. Or buy a set of four 16-inch tires for only $299. And you'll get a free alignment check. And you also get a free 7-point inspection. Pueblo Tires and Service. 13 locations to serve you. Mama always did like you best. That's because I showed Mama some love with a new set of tires for her ride. Get a set of 20-inch tires for only $499. Or a set of 16-inch tires for only $299. Dance! En Pueblo Tires and Service, su seguridad es nuestra mayor prioridad. Así que estamos tomando todas las medidas de prevención durante su visita. Mantengamos a nuestra comunidad en movimiento con nuestra nueva y extensa variedad de servicios automotriz y nuestra gigantesca selección de rines y llantas nuevas, como un set de cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499, o compre un set de cuatro llantas de 16 pulgadas por solo 299, y usted recibe una verificación de alineación gratuita. Además, recibirá la inspección de 7 puntos gratis. 
We're back in the blink of an eye with your truly Ben Valdez, El Capitan. And now I have Domingo Hernandez here, our business development manager. Yes. Did I say it right? Of course you did. <laughs> All right. Folks, you know, we just, we're talking to Rudy, <laughs> our manager here at San Juan. And uh, uh, we, we're, we're saying, Domingo, how, you know, we apologize for the inconvenience of the traffic here in our mm -hmm. store, in front of our store, because of all this construction that's going on. But in spite of all that, Rudy is telling me that it, it has not affected our business here. It has not. So we're thankful for that. Uh, and that's what happens when you give great service. People will still come. They'll find a way to get here. But unfortunately, uh, the exit, when you come in from Alamo this way, you can't exit like you used to before. Now you got to exit before you get to Cesar Chavez and just stay in the feeder. But again, we thank you because it has not slowed you down. We're having a great year. And here in San Juan, we're, we're having an excellent year as well, and it has not affected us. So thank God for that, and thank you, folks. Mingo, Domingo, call him Mingo with con cariño, como dice la raza. Mm -hmm. Mingo, uh, we have here a uh, couple of pieces, and we want the folks to know that we've, uh, we've always pretty, you know, we've tried to do this for quite some time, but lately it seems like we were focusing more on this particular service uh, because, you know, our, our bread and butter is brakes, or alignment, suspension. Uh, tires and wheels, oil changes, additives, and that kind of thing. But now we've gotten into the we've gotten into the business of leveling kits and lift kits. And uh, I want Mingo, you're, you're you're the one that's helping us spearhead this project at Pueblo. What do we have here, Mingo? And tell us a little bit about the leveling kits and maybe lift kits, because a lot of folks, you know, they don't, some, I have a friend of mine who wanted to buy some tires and he wanted to know what's the difference between a leveling, leveling kit and a lift kit. Mm -hmm. If you could explain a little bit about that and maybe some of the heights or, and so forth. One of the trucks that I'm driving right now, they installed a three inch lift kit. Correct, yes. And so if you could tell us a li little bit about that, Mingo, how's it going at Pueblo? Do we have these at all the stores and so forth? So, adelante, Domingo Hernandez. Yes, well, we are actually stocking leveling kits. What a leveling kit is, is when the uh, truck comes out of the manufacturer, you, you've seen it have, have a little bit of an incline to it. Some people want to see their trucks basically straight out. The leveling kit is for that. All it is for is basically like a two inch example. It goes on top of your strut that's basically to make it look level that you don't see that incline anymore so it's just basically at the same time you can also increase your tire size optional uh, we we usually stock rough country products at every one of our locations uh, our main office is our main one that's got the majority of them in case it's not at our location uh, it can be brought in from our corporate office I got a question for you mm -hmm. now just for the sake of these two pieces right here Mm -hmm. uh, these consist of one leveling kit? Yes. Yeah, one for each strut, one on each side. Okay, now, for the sake of the viewers, again, uh, you, you, they go in the front? Only in the front. When it's a leveling kit, it's just the front side. Just the front. Just the front side. Because when, whenever you want to do like a lift kit, yes, you're going to do front and then you're going to have back. Okay. That way the whole truck picks up at the same level on it. When it's a leveling kit, all you're doing is basically leveling your truck out to basically be straight. Wow, okay. Now, one of the questions that somebody posed to me was that if you, uh, you know, if you install a leveling kit or a lift kit, which I know the lift kits can go up you know, like I said, the one I'm driving, the truck I'm driving, they, they install a three and a half inch uh, lift kit. Now, does that affect your fuel consumption? The uh, the leveling kit will not because you're really not changing much as far as the right. It's when you do a leveling kit and when you do bigger tires. When you do a bigger tire, of course, the turning radius is what changes on there. It's basically gonna, when you take off, original equipment is usually at a diameter, so miles per gallon is rated at that. When you go bigger, of course, it takes the truck to roll a little faster, so it's the the, the, the gas consumption will start Changes. to be a little bit up. Only at the stop and goes. Once you're on the expressway, velocities keep straight. The gas is going to be identical. It's the stop and goes that usually gets a little bit, you know, worse on the okay. gas mileage. So these two pieces, 
are part of the leveling kit. Correct. One for each strut mm -hmm. in the front. And now what does this piece do? What is this? Now there's some, like say, it depends on the, the vehicle itself. Okay. These are more common, like say, on the Fords. Chevy sometimes has two options. You can do a leveling kit on top because it's a three inch, or some people want two inch. When it's a two inch, you go with basically just a strut spacer. This one, instead of messing with the top of the strut itself, on the bottom where the two bolts are at, you just re release and sort of put this in there. You wedge it in there, and this will give you the two inch gap instead. So it, it just depends what level you want, because some people want it straight, some people do want a little bit of an incline, mm -hmm. they, they don't want it completely straight. Uh, it just, that's why we have them in different sizes, from two to the, from, fr from two to three, and I think that's the maximum. Okay, so folks, again, if, uh, if you're interested in something like this, um, which is very common these days, uh, you see a lot of trucks out there with, uh, I mean, I see some with, obviously they were, they got lift kits up there, you know, I don't know, what's a max uh, a lift kit? Now, I'm not talking about Monster Jam kind mm -hmm. of trucks, but I know I've seen some trucks out there that are, they're pretty high, you know, and I, I, I would imagine there's a lot of work that goes into it, so it, you're altering the suspension so much. Correct. But uh, what would be a typical, you know, hey, you can go four inches, five inches, I mean. Well, the most common one that everybody tries to go toward is a six inch suspension lift, which is kind of like the maximum that we do also and have in stock at our corporate office, certain vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, but that's kind of like when they want to go massively as far as 35 inch tires on them, it's it's kind of like a little Tonka toy is what they're facing yeah. up against. <laughs> uh, they, they want it to look sort of different from everything else, six inch is the number to pick. Now, we do carry three we carry four inch. It just depends on the height itself. Okay. Again. Now, uh, again, depending on what kind of a tire you want. Now, when you lift a truck, from what I've seen, most trucks out there are, are, are driving on all terrain or mud tires. Correct. Uh, I mean, very rarely, I don't think I re recall seeing a highway tire with a lift kit. No, no. Right? Because, yeah. it, it, I mean, it, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of it is cosmetic. Correct. You know, the taste. I want a truck that's got some rugged mm -hmm looking tires on it, I want it higher and so forth. So again, it's up to you, the customer. Uh, but before we move, Mingo, we're gonna take a little break, mm -hmm. but we just wanna remind the folks that we've got 13 locations to serve you. Mm -hmm. We're open from Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, we are on our 49th year of serving the community. We thank God and we thank you for that. Soon we'll be celebrating 50 years, a 50 year anniversary. And in the meantime, we also wanna remind you that we offer financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. So take advantage of, uh, of that. Uh, you can apply online. We also have a Pueblo card that you can apply. Uh, it's, it's relatively a, a simple, fast process, but a lot of folks have taken advantage of that as well. Yes. We saw some reports today uh, in regards to the Pueblo card mm -hmm. and some of the other financing programs we got that we've got a lot of folks that have enrolled on either or. or and so again, we're there to help you. Uh, we also have layaway, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so again, folks, look us up on shampoozy.com. I'm going to take a break. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with Domingo Hernandez. We'll continue to talk about leveling kits and lift kits. We'll be back in the blink of an eye. En Pueblo Tires and Service, su seguridad es nuestra mayor prioridad. Así que estamos tomando todas las medidas de prevención durante su visita. Mantengamos a nuestra comunidad en movimiento con nuestra nueva y extensa variedad de servicios automotriz y nuestra gigantesca selección de rines y llantas nuevas, como un set de cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499, o compre un set de cuatro llantas de 16 pulgadas por solo 299, y usted recibe una verificación de alineación gratuita. Además, recibirá la inspección de siete puntos gratis. Madre, siempre le gustaste más. Es que yo compré un set de llantas nuevas para su carrucha. Cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499 maracas. 16 pulgadas por solo 299 dólares. ¡Que bailen! At Pueblo Tires and Service, your safety will always be our top priority. So we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. Let's keep our community moving with our wide variety of automotive services and our giant selection of new tires and wheels. Like a set of four 20-inch tires for only $499. Or buy a set of four 16-inch tires for only $299. And you'll get a free alignment check. And you also get a free seven-point inspection. Pueblo Tires and Service, 13 locations to serve you. Sherpuzzi.com 
We're back in the blink of an eye with you, truly, Benjamin Valdez, El Capitan, and I've got Mr. Domingo Hernandez, our business development manager. That's a fancy title, Domingo. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. Try spelling it. <laughs> but really what it is, folks, is that Mingo's been with the company. How long, Mingo? Uh, I'm going on 23 years already. 23 years. You've managed uh, Harlingen. And the Brownsville location. Brownsville location. And Mingo always had a successful thing going. Uh, he's done a great job for the company. But now he's kind of, we kind of asked him to help us in other areas. So now you, you spend a lot of time at the stores, right? Yes. You visit all the stores. All of them, yes. Up in Allos, we've got two. One's a tire and service. The other one's an oil oil change facility. And uh, you, Kingsville as well. Correct. Uh, and like I said, we're doing very well, thank God. And that tells me, Mingo, that a lot of people are investing more in their cars these days. Yes, they are. They want to keep their cars in tip-top condition. Of course, you know, we, we're living in uncertain times. We know that, but we got to trust in God, and we got to do everything we can to keep our family safe. And you want the last thing you want is a problem with your car, right? So we're there to help you, whether it's brakes, alignment, suspension, uh, you know, wheels, tires. Uh, we do uh, rotors. Uh, we also do state inspections and so forth. But now we're focusing more on lift kits. Now, we're not the only player in town, obviously. There's there's places where that's all they do. Correct. And uh, they do some big, heavy jobs. But we just want you to know that at Pueblo, we can do leveling kits correct. and some lift kits, correct? Yes. And we have the, we have the know-how to, to oh, install. Yeah. Yes. The technicians, of course, uh, have been initially trained and educated. This These kits also come with instructions. They also also come with a download in case we want to see like live being installed if any question comes upon they do research before they install them anyway now again we we answered a question you answered a question for the folks say well if i put a leveling kit am i gonna uh, cons uh, consume more 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 fuel mm -hmm. and basically the, the answer was if you just do a leveling kit you're not gonna really affect your fuel consumption no no because you're not changing the tire size the tire capacity weight load or anything all you're doing is just leveling it out that's all it's only when you install a lift kit and you go with a bigger size tire correct then the revolution of the tire obviously you're gonna it's yeah. gonna affect your fuel consumption correct but again a lot of people a lot of folks that's that's what they want and we're here to serve them uh, now you know theoretically if, if, if somebody comes in hey I want to install a leveling kit we, we show them we explain to them what's the what's the uh, What's the time frame of installation for something like that? I believe the most common time frame is two and a half hours for the leveling kits. I would say as long as it's a strut assembly style, it should be the same time frame. Two and a half plus a 30 minute for the alignment afterwards. Okay. So give or take three hours on leveling kits. So if you install a leveling kit, you, you're going to have to redo the alignment? Yes, because what happens is when we take your struts off, we put these on top. The only setting that actually gets off is your toe setting. Okay. It's going to be a minor tweak, but we just don't want the tire to go inward and then gets a little bit of outer wear on them. Okay. So uh, that's the only angle that moves. Camber caster will not, but toe will set a little bit inward. So there you go. I mean, hopefully this is information is helping you. Uh, and that's what we want to do. We want to spread the word through this program in the blink of an eye that we're uh, we're here to serve you. And uh, now you know about a little bit more about it. Uh, now, a lift kit obviously is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that might take a, obviously more time. Correct. And uh, depending on the on the size of the lift kit or the, the height. Like you said, I've got a three and a half inch on the truck I'm driving, uh, but if you go four, five, six, then you're talking about more work. Correct, correct. correct. The maximum that, that I would say from the, uh, say, six inch, you're looking from eight to 10 hours. That's that's the maximum lift th that we do at our facilities, but that's the, the most time frame that's gonna take for us, eight to 10. Now, that does not include, of course, lunch hours or anything of the technician side, so sometimes that would mean an extra day to get it done safely and right of course so most of the time I mean obviously if you're gonna install a, a lift kit other than a leveling kit you're gonna have to go with a different size tire yes definitely uh, every time we do basically a lift we go to the websites mm -hmm. it tells you exactly where you're going towards as far as height and it shows you what wheels you can do as far as dimension wise it also tells you the height of the tire that you can go maximum without it rubbing inside the plastics uh, we give you everything before you even get started on it that way, if it fits good for you, it fits good for us. And one, 
thing, folks, that uh, I've heard in, in times past where somebody says, hey, well, uh, I want to lift it up, but then they want a certain tire, certain height, but it's, it's, it's too big or too tall. And say, so, well, just cut some of that fender off of there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anything's possible with a grinder, but that's not really the, the, the safe thing to do. Right. We usually try to keep it to the specifications that it's asking us to do. We just want to do it right and we want to do it safely. But as far as cutting and all that, it's not really recommended. Yeah. Again, but uh, as long as we don't have to cut any any metals, mm -hmm. because metals are things that should not actually be grinded. Plastics they can be sheared off and, and angled and shaped, but sometimes when when you got to cut metal, you know that's that's for us that's just a no. Yeah, because I think now you're you're altering the suspension or you know the frame of the car. Correct. So you know again, but but we'll explain to you and we'll show you the pros and the cons mm -hmm. uh, because you are going to sacrifice. I think when you go up high. You're gonna sacrifice some smoothness yes. in your vehicle, you right. know. But again, most folks who, who want a lift kit, I think you know they understand what they're getting into. Obviously, they, they want a little bit of more explanation. But uh, your truck's gonna drive a little bit different, you know. But hey, again, sometimes that's folks don't care. They just wanna they want that look. Correct. So Domingo, again, on, on behalf of Polo Tire Service, folks, we thank you for giving us 49 years of service. And uh, Domingo, why don't you? tell the folks again this week we got 13 locations they can practically go to any of our stores and and, and get one of these leveling kits or lift kit installed correct, so correct. Tell, tell them about that and and uh, maybe some of the uh, other options that we have and, and as far as uh, we've got some package deals going on correct on uh, on tires again we have a uh, 205 55 16 four tires with tax installed for 299 and then we also have the 275 55 20 also, of course, four tires for $4.99 installed with tax. That's it. Installation, tax, and balance included. Correct. Amundo. Most of the lifts are at the locations. They should be in stock. If they're not, the McAllen Warehouse usually has them. Shouldn't take a couple of hours to get it basically picked up. Now, if your vehicle is different and more newer model and we have to order it, we can get it within a day or two, just to let you know. And we do stock a lot of the suspension lifts, Rough Country products, at our location in McAllen. So in case it, it's there it could be done a little quicker than having it delivered all right well Mingo we appreciate you joining us today Thanks. and we thank Rudy for uh, being with us at the beginning of the show but we want to thank you most of all our customer base here in, in the valley and the Kingsville and Alice and again uh, this construction work that's going on here between San Juan and far and further up west we don't know how long it's gonna take in the meantime we thank you for still coming here business has not slowed down in spite of uh, the exit being closed off and we want to thank you for that and again look us up on shampoozy.com 13 locations to serve you from brownsville all the way to rio grande up north in alice and kingsville we're open from monday through saturday from 7 a.m to 6 p.m folks and we just want to say that nobody loves you more than polo tires and service and uh, we have a phrase that says shampoozy you ready yes are you ready to say shampoozy yes Let's i am go. shampoozy <laughs>